Mark is getting him a breakfast hot dog that I got for 50 cents, this Michigan hat. Morning, everybody, and happy Saturday. It is Saturday the 20th, I think. Oh, I got another time. Um, Mark and I are going to some garage sales. There is a little town called Orleans here down by where we live. It's a couple towns over, and they're having their community yard sales. So it's cold today. What is it? It's like 44 degrees. 44 degrees. It was just like, in, it was 90 last weekend, wasn't it? No. It was okay. It was 80, but it's cold. It's cold this morning, so that's okay. It's nice, a nice brisk morning. Get you pumped and energized for the yard sales. Hopefully, they're not filled with baby clothes and clothes. We want stuff, toys, and stuff, but not clothes. So there are a lot. How many do you think that there are? Well, advertisers like 30 of them. 30. It is 7:30. We 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 got we, we were a little too ambitious in our getting getting and going, but that's okay. Maybe we can get in a little bit early, get some of the good stuff. But um, let's go yard selling today. You ready, Mark? I'm ready. Okay. I don't know why I didn't film at that last garage sale because there was hardly nobody there. But I just forgot. But I did get some things. I got several bags of vintage My Little Ponies. I haven't looked them up, but they are all made in Hong Kong. Um, they were $4, for, basically they were $2 a pony because there were two in each bag. And then I got some of like the little ribbons and trophies. I think this was 50 cents or a quarter, maybe it was a quarter. And I also got Sorcerer Mickey. He was 50 cents. It says Disney giftware. It's made in Taiwan. So this is a vintage Disney piece that was sold. Um, oh, he's broken. <laughs> Shut up, Mark. <laughs> Shut up, Mark. He's broken. That's oh, okay, Mickey. You were only 50 cents. And he's still very cute. Why he was 50 cents? I'll keep you with anything. He's probably worth millions of dollars if he wasn't broken. And now he's not worth a whole heck of a lot. See his little broom? See? If you don't open your eyes and really look at things, you buy broken Mickeys. All right. Well, we are on our way to more sales. But I'm pretty stoked about the My Little Ponies. There's also the big ones. And then I got... These little ones were were two dollars, so they were a dollar a piece. And they're all there was another a couple more baggies, and they were newer ones, I could tell, but these are the older ones, so that's exciting. Alright, we've been to a couple. It's just so hard to film at yard sales. These are copyright made in USA. They're vintage, two dollars for the little butterflies. They're the metal ones too. These are Indiana glass, I do believe. And they're three dollars each. So I don't know about that. Back there, there's a Mickey's tree trimmer. That's probably worth a little bit of money. I don't think it's for sale. We got all these Dalmatians. <laughs> it's a vintage 90s Christmas bag. Mickey Mouse. Okay. Another one. I like to get these and I go to Goodwill just for my shelves at the shop. Oh, here's a little dog. He's got no eyes. And a Santa. Some doilies. Crocheted doilies. Not mercury glass beads. Look at you. Are you a ghost? Little ghost guy. You can hear an Amish buggy. This is a pretty big Amish community. Whenever I hear the Amish buggies, I close my eyes and pretend I'm on Mackinac Island. That's what I do. Some babies down there. Some Madame Alexander babies there. Well, we're striking out. 1973 scamp. That's fun to see. There's the graveyard. I'd like to just walk around the graveyard, but I'm not going to do that today. This one looks promising. Got a lot of glass and things. 
up the Fire King bowl for six. Nesting bowl there. This is Viking, a Viking drape. Let's see how much that is. There's no price on it. If I remember right, this, this one I've been to before, and there's a lot of things that aren't priced, and you just kind of put some stuff together. Christmas 1975. That's when I was born. Oh, you're missing your handles. I have a couple B things that I'm going to be selling soon. Maryland, I think that's what it says. It's missing the little rattan bale handle on it, but it's still very cute. I might ask about that. Here's a Soki. Hi, how are you? Right. Good. There's a Soki. A Pluto? Who are you? Yeah, I think you're Pluto. And these are like little resin figurines. I'm all about the figurines. There's Sean Fitzgerald Kennedy. He was the President of the United States. And oh, here's a little Fenton hobnail amber. Next on stage, amber. So I'm just going to kind of, oh, your artisan green canada. I think, yeah, you look pretty good. I might pull a couple things to the side and ask about a price on them. What's in here? Little pearls. They're not pop beads. And there's these little poodles right here, too. These are Yadro. So, I don't know. I don't know about Yadro. I know a lot of people like it, but it doesn't do anything for me. Oh, this is pretty. 1972. These calendar plates, some of them, I mean, they're not really worth a whole lot. Same with the with the tapestry uh, calendars, but I mean, sp people are wanting their specific t date. Oh my gosh, look at all the magazines. Oh no. Yule Brenner, Saturday Evening Post. You are a uh, Glenn Campbell. What's this? One? The best in children's books. I usually don't buy Life magazines, um, but some of these, like especially like the Christmas, the Saturday Evening Post, the Christmas. Uh, oh, look at the back of it. Oh, the deer. So I'm probably gonna get few of these. All right, so I'm going to make a little bit of a pile. There was these two things, and oh, I didn't look on this side. And then there was, well, it was that bee, the bee cookie jar thing. This is a nice canister here. Just, it's a cookie. I like that too. It's got a little bit of a, is that a repair on there? I don't know. Uh, that. No, it's it not. Scratched. Yeah, I like that too. Sorry if I'm, I'm sniffling, but it is so cold. This is a beautiful mantle clock. Mark said that there are some things up here. Oh, this is another thing I wanted. A Viking drape. Carnival. If you find stuff you want, you can sit them on this yellow tape. Okay. Okay, thank you. That's a neat lamp. some lighters in here too. I've done pretty well with lighters depending on what they are. There's a little pregnant Boyd's bear. She's got a baby on board. Oh, salt and pepper shakers. That's what I like. Here's Santa. They're made in Taiwan. It's kind of cute. Oh, silly gooses. Big silly gooses. Where are these from? Wisconsin? Yep, Wisconsin. Oh, Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket. He's the only grasshopper that's acceptable in my book. Carnival pieces. I am just not, I'm just not into glass. I'm just not, it's just not what my jam is lately. These are beautiful. But it's just not what I'm trying to find right now. I mean, even though I did get pick up some glass pieces, it's just not what gets me excited anymore. And I'm a firm believer in trying to buy things that kind of gets me excited. These? 
I might see how much this is. These um, laundry baskets, believe it or not, they're worth some money. So I think I might be interested in that if she's selling it. Let's see what's over here. I haven't looked at this table yet. Um, There's a little fishing girl. She's cute. She's missing her fishing pole. I love these. And I love all of that crazing. This is Fondville, England Ambassador. See, I think that is beautiful. I really like that. Oh, the baby, baby bowl is missing the, the head. Oh, these are cute. Made in the USA. I like that. That's Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. See, I like these, but I'm like, would anybody else want these? I never know. That's the pickle I get into sometimes. This would be a beautiful, like, for a turkey or ham platter. That's really pretty with those cherry blossoms on it. Night moves. Talking about the night moves. Mark, he's singing about the night moves. Let's move on. <laughs> Mark gets annoyed with me sometimes. I think that, well, that might be about it. We'll see what we are going to, what kind of price we're going to get on the things that we put aside. Next up, there are just so many art sales. I've not been filming every one because it's just kind of impossible to do, but just popping in from time and time. Here's Mommy's Fruitcake. I like fruitcake. These are a quarter each. I might get that one. Charlie Holidays. That's a Russ one. I have to look at those a little bit closer. These fruitcake tins I like. Bobbleheads. Puzzles. Papy pans. Look at all these sun catchers. They're $2. There's a key cat. Meow meow. Pumpkins. Oh, there's a witch. Okay, that's that sold me. There's a witch. Mark, there's a witch in here. I like a witch. Oh, what are those? Oh, those are those are. Some skateboards. I like those. How much are they? Let's see what they'll do for all of them. I tend not to buy glasses because they just never sell really well for me, and they're kind of a pain in the butt to ship. Those are cute. Are they different? No, they're the same. A little spongeware. Owl. They're a quarter. Yeah, I think I'm going to get those for a quarter each. But now I really can't film because my hands are completely full. Mark is getting him a breakfast hot dog that I got for 50 cents. This Michigan hat. Now, I was not born in Michigan, but I feel like Michigan is home in my heart. Okay, next stop. Oh, got me a new hat. Oh, look at, oh, here's more tins. Some of these tins, I'm like, like, look at that. Bartons. Oh, I like this one. How much are these tins? I uh, don't know. I do like that one. Jukebox, Ghirardelli, Coca-Cola. What are you? Merry Christmas, Monopoly, SpongeBob, Barbie. She's $25. I don't know. Winnie the Pooh. Looks like he's strangling little piglet there. Careful. I do like these little toolboxes. My buddy. Just a 15. Mark found some license plates. The banana boat song was on when we left the car, so now that's what's in my brain. Daylight coming, you wanna go? Here is a pumpkin bucket. Oh, Mark will have to look through these fishing things. He likes these. It's a Starbucks. Indiana. It's got like a basketball court thing on it. That's kind of cool. Cuisine. You are special. Max Mercado. Oh, look at this. Seven is magic. It's old reader, but not from the 19... Probably from the 1970s. The school fair... Cute. So to look. Oh, you are Eloise Wilkin. Yep. I've got this one. This one's a little uh, 
uh, dent or waterlogged, I guess. Oh, look at you, the night before Christmas. Aw. I don't know how much the books are, but I probably will get that. All right, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna look through some of these things without holding my phone in my hand. Oh, look, they got a silly goose. <laughs> they got a silly goose. Hi, Goosey. Hi. Hi, buddy. And a chicken. Two chickens. You're a rooster. Actually, you're a duck and not a goose, but you know what I mean. I think you're a duck. You're so cute. So this yard sale is stuff. Look at that. Oh, that's a, such a cool sewing machine, but it's twenty dollars. I got this uh, Betty Crocker's cookbook, but look at that. I'd like to have that Sasquatch, but he's not for sale. He's got little teeth. Look at his teeth. Here. So here in Orleans, Indiana, they were having a car show. Um, and some food vendors, but we are gonna go into Speakeasy Pizza, which is a place that we've wanted to try for a long time. So that's where we're gonna have lunch today. But it turned out to be a beautiful day. It's still very chilly. The wind makes it really, really pretty chitty. chilly. But I'll show you the, the pizza when we get it. So we are at Speakeasy Pizza here in Orleans. They've got a lot of places to eat outside today, but it's a little chilly, so we're gonna go inside. You see, everything is like mobster. So you, they've got the mobster margarita, the gaudy sticks, Virginia Hill, Machine Gun Kelly. So everything in here is a kind of like a like a like a speakeasy, sort of like a speakeasy. Hi, Mark. So all the pizzas are a wood fire pizza, and I got green olive, extra cheese, garlic, and basil on mine. So it doesn't look so good. Yum. And then Mark's. Thank you. You're welcome. Mark got, he got meat on his. Took meat. a lot of meat. Meat, no meat. <laughs> okay, look what we did. We stopped in. No, we didn't buy this. <laughs> Look, it's the leprechaun. So this is kind of what we're thinking that we might want to start out in. So we're just, we're just, we're just getting some ideas. That's the leprechaun. Leprechaun. It's the leprechaun. Oh yeah, look, that's where we can put all of our the stuff that I buy and resell. And there, there's a little table in there. So she said that we could go in and pop in and look. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice actually for storage okay let's pop in here okay we got our little steppies Ugh. well this is nice see we've we we owned a camper um, but we were looking at you know getting an RV for us to travel around in but so this one is $74,000 2021 I thought it was yeah I thought it was older 2021 now I I guess I would never get up there this is where we could keep more antiques I was gonna say we could probably somehow change that there's a TV up there though but yeah so it's swing out oh that's nice so you can sit here at your little table here's the bed that's a small bed mark maybe you maybe I could sleep up there you could sleep here. I'm surprised you said that you could you would sleep up there. Uh, that would be interesting. What's in here? You have to lift up on it. Is that a full size bed probably? I think it's a full size bed. Shower. Toilet. Okay, now we're gonna look into this one. This one's flare, but we would have to Woo! It's the Rick Flare. We'd have to get a little Rick Flare sticker. <laughs> Woo! Wine and dining. RV living. Ooh, I like this one so much more. Yeah, this, this, this. This one's better, right? 2019. It's cheaper. Sixty-six thousand dollars. Look at the backsplash. It's just a sticker kind of thing. 
I know, but it just looks good. And it's got a bigger bed. Yes, th this is better. Much better. It's a king size bed. Is it king? That's a king size bed. Well, we wouldn't, that's too big then. No, it's not. Let's look so, at the look at the closet. So, Misty, what? This is another slide out here. Right. So you'd have no room between you and the bed. But while you're driving, I could still pop in here and sleep. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But look, this is nice. It's got really a lot of the drawers and then a nice big closet. Honestly, the TV. Yeah, I like this one so much more. And there's it's even, a full -size fridge. yeah, it's a full -size fridge. look, the, it's got space above the above the bed too. And I like the floor. And look at nice shower, much nicer shower. Still small, but I mean it'll clean you. This is much nicer. It just seems, and because we don't need that bed above. That's weight. That's a waste. This probably folds out into a bed too. And a little table here with the TV there. Sit in the driver's seat on that one, Mark. It's, it's bright in here. It is. It is. It's nice and bright. Yeah, I like this one much, much better. What do you think? It's definitely bigger. That's a windshield there now. I like this I like one. That little window right there. They must have had a dog. A dog. Look at the little nose prints. Not all about getting a brand new RV because we can't afford that. This is nice. I could lay here, right there, Mark, and I could slide and say, "Hey." These have where you can just flip them around. I think. Oh yeah, there. so you can like use these as like a recliner. Oh, there you go. Let's buy it, Mark. <laughs> Now we're in this other one. This one's brand new, and this is not one that we would get because we don't want something that we have to tow. But look, I'm in the loft, and it's got a fireplace. So, oh gosh, I have to go down the stairs, though. Mark down there. Hi. This is a camper. <laughs> This is not a camper. I kind of feel like I need to go down on my butt. This is more of a... Hang on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. This. Here, hold my camera. <laughs> Mark's holding the camera. Those are like na very narrow steps there. But, see, that's where I was. So this is, I mean, obviously, look, it's got like a ceiling fan. There's a loft over there, too. And then we've got a washer and dryer. What is this? A dishwasher? Full-size refrigerator, like stove. A it's a tiny home. I would live in this if I was by myself, because I don't know if we would want to be living in this all the time together. But a nice big shower. This is nice. But like, where's, the oh, there's the TV. Oh, it's got, like, this pops up. This is a table. It's flat up against the wall, but this is just a hodgepodge of a vlog, isn't it? It's got a deck. Yeah, we have a deck. Here's the deck. We went to garage sales. We went to look for campers today. I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. It's cute. The Timberwolf. They loft. But Ric Flair's what I want. Ric Flair. So we're back at the house now, and I just got, we went to Walmart, but I got Fluff a new pad for his scratchy post and sprinkled some cat, catnip on it. So he's doing pretty good. You're sitting on your ball. It's right here. Where'd it go? Oh, you got it out of the thing. <laughs> oh boy. Catnip. Are you a good boy? Can you tell everybody that you're not Mr. Poopy Pants anymore? At least for this day? Yes. Are you going to get it? It's got the strength of 10,000 kitties now. We are going to have game night tonight. And when I get to the shop tomorrow, I didn't work at all today. But when I get to the shop tomorrow... Mister, I need to get him a new scratching post over there. Look. Okay. To the shop tomorrow, I'll do a little bit of a haul of everything that I got at the garage sale. So that will be tomorrow. So it's going to be a little bit of a two-day, a two-day vlog. That's what we're going to do. So I'll show you everything that I got.
today, tomorrow. Well, hello everybody. Happy Saturday. Today is the 21st of April and it's the next day. So I'm at the shop. I got some shipping done. I didn't, I wasn't here yesterday. I did not get my shipping done. I didn't even come to the shop yesterday because Mark and I just had fun yard sales and looking at the camper and then we had game night. So I didn't work yesterday, but I'm working today. So I got all my shipping done. I had some eBay sales. And I'm going to show you those in a minute, but I'm going to show you what we got yesterday at the garage sales. Okay. Oh, I got this. Um, there was a, one sale that we went to that just had a bunch of like boxes that you could dig through. So some of these came from those boxes. I ended up having to pay a dollar a piece. The guy, I had a bag full and he said $25 and I was like, what? No. So I, I paid $20 for everything, but I still think it was fine. Kind of. But anyway, this was in there. <laughs> I love these. This is a Hong Kong. It is made by Imperial. It is from 1980. <laughs> Who else had one of these as a child? A little squeaky frog. Um, these, I'm going to wash these because they're a little funky. The pound purry, a pound puppy, and two pound puppies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lot them with these two puppies that I've gotten at various places and make a little lot with the pound puppy newborns carrier. There's also another pound puppy in there. So that was my thinking with those. And then I got out of that deal, where'd you go? It was a very dirty My Little Pony, this one. This one needs clean. Now, they all have names, and I am not well-versed in their names, but the way to see if one is an older one is to look at the bottom. If it says Hong Kong, then it is one of the older ones. Um, so this one, I'll have to see. I'm going to have to look them up. My Little Ponies can command quite a bit of money, uh, depending. So he was. I paid less than a dollar for this in that lot from that bag from that guy i'll talk about these other ones in a minute but i also picked up um these little people figures you know these i'm putting away for future grandchildren i've been putting them in my uh red hot mama big mama red hot sausage but that's getting a little full so i'm gonna have to start a new we'll have to start a new uh a new jar for our little people, friends. And I got Cookie Monster. Nom, 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 nom. He's a vintage one as well. And I got Littlest Pet Shop. Now, some of these Littlest Pet Shops, I only I was able, only able to find one. Some of them can command pretty high prices too. So when I get, if I can get them cheap enough, then I'll, then I'll get them. I got that one. These are Calico Critters. They also have some value to them as well. I'm not certain if these particular ones do, but I rescued them from their box. And then I got a couple Cabbage Patch. These ladies will be in a Buyer's Choice sale soon on uh, Vamp. And then, oh, I got this for me for my Globe collection. I don't know. It's a Globe, so I'm going to take it home with me. This needs cleaned up. These were in that lot as well. They're uh, Sesame Street little baby toys. Couldn't resist those. I will clean those up. And then I got these hangers. They're wooden hangers. They're cabbage patch. Aren't those adorable? Couldn't resist. And then I got, trying to th think. Oh, we got this Pez. We don't, I don't know. It's Garfield. So we rescued him from his box of stuff. Also, this pig bank. It is 1965. It does have some damage to it, but I felt like he needed rescued, pig. He's still very cute. And then also pulled out another Little People car. And this is really dirty. It needs clean. But it's a chicken nugget bottom for Ronald McDonald. So we'll get that cleaned. And then this uh, nativity scene. Um, it is. It has one of the little... I guess it wanted maybe one of the animals that's broken off. Baby Jesus is still there though. So we got that. And then I, I got these for Cindy because she loves Ziggy. And they are American Greetings Ziggy wrapping paper. But I think that's all I got from the oh no 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 no. And these. These pillowcases. These vintage uh the with the yellow and the green, the purple, the yellow roses. The, and these groovy fl flower ones. So they are all there. There's two pillowcases in each lot. So got all that from that one sale. 
And then the very first sale that we got to, I got all of these uh, My Little Ponies. I think I paid $15 for all of them. They are all vintage except for that one. That one is not. But I don't know if these, this one, the tail spins. I don't know. I'm going to have to research this one. But these are all made in Taiwan. I want to say that I, I looked a few of them up just real quickly in the car. And some of them sell for like $12 or $15 a piece. I do have some of the combs. And we have some of these little ones as well. Again, these are all marked Hong Kong on the bottom. Two of these are the little Flutterby horses. And then I also got a baggie of the ribbons and trophies as well. So that was a great score. I loved finding those things. I got this for Emma. It's a honeymoon fund. I thought maybe at her reception, just a little money box that you can put money in. I got this cutie. Oh, his packaging is worn, but he still is in his original box. I had one of these. I think I had that one right there. So this is Brenton Rudy in his barnyard. Isn't he so cute? Coleco. Uh, I paid $2 for him. We also got, I think we paid $6. I haven't even looked these up at all. These are all Smurfs. They are Applause, Payo, trying to see I don't see a date on them. We've got Smurfette in her bathing suit. So I don't know. Papa Smurf. There are doubles. We've got the surf guy. I don't know much about them. And then this dog that I have never seen. I don't even know. Well, he has a Smurf sticker. Never seen the Smurf dog before. But we'll see if those are worth anything. And we'll probably get those listed up on eBay. I um, got a Ruthie Newton print. This little dog, it's in, it's professionally matted in that frame. Viking drape. I, I just fell in love with this fruitcake tin. Bottom of a fairy lamp, because we can either find another bottom for them, or we can franken, do some franken lamps. So I usually keep bits and pieces. I think I paid 50 cents for that. Um, we got this cookie jar, this plastic cookie jar canister. Mickey, who has a broken handle. We already talked about that. Um, Artisan, this guy, the polar bear. I think I've had this one before. We got him. We got the bee, a uh, biscuit jar. And I got this. I just thought it was so pretty with that purple kind of luminescent. It was 50 cents. It's Bavaria. Let me turn around the other side. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to make a little vignettes with all these pieces. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to have to use two hands. Maybe I'll just put it behind here like that because I got plans for these guys. We got some books and I think that's it. Oh, the sun catchers, the sun catchers. Look at these. I think I paid $2. Look at the witch and the, and the cat. Now I may keep the witch and the cat, but we got all these pumpkins and a random umbrella and some of the sun, the little suction cups, which are really funky. I'm probably just going to get rid of those and get new ones. And then I got this tin, and this pretty, the Barton's chocolate tin. I thought that was really neat. And then some books. Oh, I got this Betty Crocker Boys and Girls Cookbook, and then a bunch of little golden books. Now, I think these are going to be, I'm going to be bringing some books to the sale Friday at 5 p.m., the, um, the Vamp. Paper Parade starts at 5 p.m. over in my virtual antique mall on VAMP. So I'm thinking I might maybe do a couple buyer's choice sales on there as far as ephemera and books go. I've got to start going through some of these things. It's one of my plans to get done today to get that catalog up and going. So that's what we got from the yard sale. And let me show you what sold on eBay and Vamp. All right, on Vamp, I sold this little Kokeshi Papa, Papa, Papa doll. He sold over on Vamp. The Enid Collins squirrel purse sold via an auction on eBay. Um, oh my God, Stacy <laughs> sold on eBay. Um, this actually had sold once before 
And um, I noticed that it had a chip. So I emailed the customer. I didn't even notice that it had a chip until I was shipping it. So I emailed the customer and provided a ref- a full refund for them. And then this actually did sell. Um, I relisted it, noted the damage, and it sold on eBay again. So that I'm still happy with what I got out of it because I think I paid maybe 5 or $6 for them. And then I um, one of this Cupid's Arrow Nabula full color style. I think it's eyeliner that sold. These sold to the same person. Isn't this a great graphic on this puzzle? It is Christmas magic. It's a current puzzle. It is sealed. I always pick up sealed puzzles when I'm thrifting. And then this I've had for a very long time. It is heavy. It is a marble butler cheese board made by Lennox. I've had that for such a long time and it does come with the little cheese knife. I'll get all of these shipped out to their new owners. And I'm gonna go ahead and in, end the video today. Um, it was a two-parter. We got to go to some garage sales. It is very awkward filming it at garage sales. It just is. I, it, because you're at somebody's house. I'm gonna put you right there. Oh, now you're, you're stuck to my tape. That's all right. You're at somebody's house, so it's just a little odd. And I've considered doing like the going, the GoPro route, but I'm all over the place and I don't know that it would be, I don't know that you got, you all would be able to stomach it. You probably would be sick, motion sickness. I don't know. So we just do what we can, but it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm happy with what we got. Mark and I had so much fun. It was a bit a long time since we, well, it's been a, a year since we've been able to go garage sailing together. So that was a lot of fun. Oh, I wanted to say too, I've gotten a couple messages. If you get a text message, if you get a reply to a comment that you have made on my, one of my videos, now people are getting an email and a text that you've won a giveaway. It is not me. So please don't just ignore it. Don't open it, ignore it, delete it. Um, report the comment. It, if, if it's a YouTube comment, I will never, you will only get an email. If you have won something from me, you'll only get an email from thrifter junker vintage hunter at gmail.com. If there's any letters before or after or any periods or symbols, it's not me. So just know that. Um, if you get a reply to a comment that you've won a giveaway and they want you to respond, it's not me. So please be very careful. That is a horrible, scary thing that's going around. And I want to make sure that you guys are all staying safe. So please just don't reply to those messages at all. At all. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, I will be having a sale Tuesday and, um, we'll see you Tuesday. Bye guys. Hello friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Ball head and the hand is here in the middle. Red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down. Girl, I'm the sweetest one in town You can search for miles around